to worship God this morning. Worship God this morning with the whole of your heart. And
Hallelujah. Amen. Our God is good yes. all the time. God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hey, my God is good. Oh.
we go to hell, tell your name, day by day, I do it, I do it, we go to hell, go to hell. tell your name, tell your name, day by day, day by day, I do it, 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 I do it. We go Just lift up your voices and just say thank you to Jesus. You don't need any instruments. You don't need anybody to, to, to motivate you to come into the presence of God. The Bible says we shall come into the house of God with thanksgiving. We shall enter His gates with praise. Why don't you lift up your voice this morning and just worship the name of the Lord. 
Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we worship your name. You can bring tongues. You can bring the Holy Ghost. Just sing in tongues. Sing in your understanding. And just appreciate the name of the Lord. Oh, Lord, we give you glory, Lord. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we worship your name. You are the pillar that holds our lives. You are the master of our lives. Oh, without you, without you, we are nothing. But if we choose not to praise you, it doesn't mean anything to you. If we choose to praise you, it means nothing to you. So we are obligated this morning to just worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. Oh, we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you honor. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Forget about your troubles. Forget about your worries. Just lift up your voice to Jesus. Oh, Jesus is the pillar of our lives. He's the one that is making you to breathe this morning. Oh, you are alive to see another day saving light. Or light day saving or whatever it is. You are alive to see another one. Some people saw that of November. They couldn't see this one. Oh, Lord, we give you praise. We are alive. We worship your name. We bless your holy name. We bless you, Lord. We give you all the glory. We magnify you, Lord. Oh, we give you glory. We give you glory. We lay our crowns. We lay our achievements. Oh, we lay everything before you. And we worship you. We say you are worthy, Lord. Oh, you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. And you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. We stand amazed at your presence. We stand amazed at your presence. Oh, we say thank you to Jesus. You are the pillar that holds my... If you don't mean it, please don't sing it. Don't sing it if you don't mean it. But if you mean it and you know you are not here by yourself, then sing the song to Jesus. Hallelujah. My Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Oh, choir, lift up your voice and sing to the Father.
do we declare that we love you? We declare our everlasting love for you. From east to west, no other God. Oh, from north to south, I say there is no other, no other God. From east to west, no other God. We say. From north to south, I say there is no other Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Just worship it. If you know that indeed it's great, it's marvelous, it's powerful. If this is the description of your God, I want you to lift up your hands and just give him worship and praise that him alone deserve. Father, we worship you. Father, we magnify you. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name, we have worshiped him. Jeremiah. 29 verse 14 God is speaking to somebody this morning he says and I'll be found of you see the Lord and I will turn away your captivity Amen. and I will gather you from all nations one prayer you're going to pray this morning is that Lord let me find you in this meeting this morning Amen. when a man finds God captivity is turned around father let me find you this morning I don't know why you came but he said those that seek him will find him this morning you have come to seek the Lord say Lord let me find you this morning when the word comes let me find you in everything we're going to do this morning daddy let me find you in the name of Jesus please pray this morning Lord let me find you in the name of Jesus let me find you and as I find you this morning Lord turn around my story turn around my captivity in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus blessed be your holy name of God in Jesus mighty and powerful name we have prayed Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege to come before you this morning. We thank you for what you did, the last meeting that we had in this place. Thank you for the miracles. Thank you for the testimonies. Daddy, we are here again this morning to meet with you. And you have said to us this morning that we will be found of you. Father, this morning in this meeting, let us find you. In the name of Jesus. Whatever area of our life, oh God, that we have been seeking you, this morning let us find you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask, oh God, that you will guide us this morning, that everything we're going to be doing will be by your dictates in the name of Jesus. Father, this morning, everybody under the sound of my voice and those that are still coming on their ways, Lord, we ask, oh God, as we have come this morning, we refuse to go back the same way we have come in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, oh God, that you reach out to all of us, oh God, in a marvelous way, in a miraculous way, in the name of Jesus. 
we commit your word into your hands this morning that will become a lord we ask oh god that you will let your work come with grace let your work come with power let your work come expressly in the name of jesus father this morning you will send your word and your word will heal and deliver in the name of jesus thank you father because you have answered lady this morning we ask oh god that you will cause the heavens to open over this meeting in the name of jesus in jesus mighty and powerful name we have prayed and so daddy we declare the service open in the name of the father in the name of the son and in the name of the holy spirit say a better amen amen can we remain standing as we take our aim all ill the power of jesus name
cross prostrate for beginning and the ending, the one who was, the one who is, the one who is to come. Oh, just worship him from your heart. Oh, Re Kasantaraba, bless his holy name. He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, the one who is, the one who was, who is to come. The same yesterday, the same today, the same forever. Just worship him from your heart. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to thank God. We are going to thank Him. The Father, we are alive today. It's enough to give glory and thanks to God. Just begin to thank God. Say, Father, we thank you, Lord. The Father, that I'm alive today. It's enough to thank you. Just thank God. Thank Him. Thank Him from your heart. Just thank Him. Open your mouth and thank God. Say, Father, thank you for bringing us together this morning. Thank you. We are not money. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Brethren, this is our month of divine establishment. The Lord is going to establish somebody today in the name of Jesus. Just talk to God. Say, Father. I don't want to leave your presence without being established in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to God. Say, Father, I don't want to leave here without being established in the name of Jesus. Father, touch me today. Today, I want to feel your touch. I want to hear from your throne of grace, O oh Lord. Speak to me. Speak to my challenges. Speak to my situations in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our Father and our God, we bless your name. The one who rules over the affairs of men, we surrender ourselves unto you this morning. Take control and have your way in our lives in the name of Jesus. We invite you, Lord, to take preeminence in this assembly today. Father, let your will be done. Let your name be glorified. Father, everyone here this morning, no one will go empty. Let there be something that they will go with. In the name of Jesus, speak to us, O Lord. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, Father. And in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. <coughs> let's put our hands together and let's appreciate God. Just greet your neighbors, say good morning. You are welcome. You will be blessed today. <laughs> Did you tell somebody that he's going to be blessed? Yeah, and you yourself will be blessed in the name of Jesus. 
Praise the Lord. Are we happy to be in church this morning? Are we happy? Yeah, we should be happy. Today is a very great day. A, every day should be great in our lives. When you sleep, you wake up. We have every reason to be grateful to God. I don't know what some people do at home on Sunday. They decide to stay home. The best place to be on a Sunday morning like this is what? The presence of God. And God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Almighty God will bless somebody today. In the name of Jesus. We are still continuing with our teaching on divine establishment. But today, we are going to, you know, take a special side of it. That is the benefits of divine establishment. When somebody is going to be divinely established, what will be the benefits? What, what if, your, if your situation, your circumstances, your challenges did not change after being divinely established, then there's nothing to glorify about. The ways of sinners are not something that gives glory to God. God does not desire the death of a sinner but to come unto repentance. Genuine repentance. That is what God seeks from each and every one of us. Genuine. Even in our relationship between ourselves. What does what do we need to do? Praise the Lord. All we need to do is Mutual respect. If you annoy your neighbor, go to him, ask for forgiveness. Oh, I'm very sorry. Apologize. And everything settles, isn't it? You become friends again. Because I remember when I was in legal practice, when, when issues come, I do my best to ensure that the issue is settled amicably. That is the first step. Call, talk to your client. Can this thing be settled? What do you want? Call the other person, maybe the lawyer, his lawyer. Talk to him. This thing should be settled. Explore every avenue of settlement. Because if you go to court, <laughs> the winner takes it all. You can't take your friend to court and come back and still be friends. It's not possible. So, we always ensure that we do everything possible to settle the matter out of court. So our people will go home happily. And God will help us today as we reconcile with him in the name of Jesus. So, I go to our Bible passage, Psalm 40, verse 1 and 2. Psalm 40, verses 1 and 2. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. But, oh no, he brought me up also out of a horrible pit, and out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. My what? Goings. Praise the Lord. When Bible, you know when you look at Bible, every word in Bible matters. That going, it said goings. It's not in one way. In all your ways. You see, anytime I pick any chapter of the Psalms, is very, very interesting. It tells you his experience. That is David's experience. When the going was good, when the going was bad, he tells you. And those are the things he wrote himself. When he was running away from King Saul, how God saved him 
how he cried to, to God. In Psalm 51, he said, he said, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. He knew the importance of the Holy Spirit in his life. Without the Holy Spirit, you can't do anything. If God is not with you, there's no way Holy Spirit will be able to minister to you. There is no way. You'll be, you, you'll be like somebody who is walking in the dark. You know what it means to walk in the dark? For instance, you know, they don't take light here, but in Africa we, we are used to it. And I just be in this room and they take light, huh? To go and put on the generator, you know you are going to look, you are going to find your way through the dark. You know what it is? You may hit your, your leg against the chair or table. You have a wound for that. But here the light is always on, so we don't have that problem. But God is infinite wisdom. Want us to be close to him. He wants us to enjoy the presence of the Holy Spirit. He wants us to have some, you know, some comfort. That is why he said the heavens rejoice over the dead, over the, the, the when he sin and surrenders himself to Christ and accepts Jesus as his Lord and Savior. The heavens rejoice because the devil has lost his soul. God wants us to come unto him. He wants people to come unto him, for he loved us. But people still drag their legs. People still do not take it seriously. You know, when we are on the pulpit talking about salvation, this and that, people will not be looking at They always say it every Sunday. It's like a ritual. But it's a serious issue. It's the is the best and greatest decision any man can take in life. Don't trivialize it. I don't know why I'm going on this direction. Because when I was meditating on what to talk today, we must be ready. You and I must be ready. We must be ready. Like the Boy Scout said, be prepared. They are motto. Always. You should not be caught on our well. And God will help us and draw us closer in the name of Jesus. So we should remember that it's only God who has the power to establish us in all our ways. Which way? Is he? Is he marriage? Getting a husband? Getting a wife to marry in your academics, in your trade, it's only God. We have to look up unto him and not to any man. He is able to do it. And that is the beauty of everything. Throughout the, for the, for by more than a month now, we'll be talking about what? In, the, in our Bible study. We'll be talking about what? faith. But unfortunately many of you don't attend our Bible study. I don't know how many follows online. And that is unfortunate. We need to learn. We need to know how to walk with God so I will not miss our blessings. And God will help us in the name of Jesus. I am praying for grace that God's, God will release his grace upon our lives. Because without grace, you can't do most of these things we are talking about. You can't rely on your power and say, oh, I will do it. I know. I will live righteous. No. It is not by your power. It is simply the work of grace in our lives. And grace will be released unto us in the name of Jesus. Brethren, let us come unto God. He is the only one who has the power to establish us. And God will establish your goings today in the name of Jesus. Every area of your life. Is it in raising your children? Is it whatever you want to do? Lay it at the feet of Jesus. 
cry unto God and he will hear you as he had David. Your own will not be different in the name of Jesus. Also, let us learn how to walk with God. How do we walk with God? How do we ensure that we are in the presence of God always? By meditating on his word. By listening to God. When God speaks, do you hear him speak? Do you hear God speaking or talking to you? You must learn how to hear from him. You must learn how to walk with him. How do you walk with God? God is a spirit. He is a spirit. He said, God is a spirit. And he seek, is there anyone who wants to worship? You must worship him in spirit and in truth. For God seeketh such. You must be in spirit. You cannot be carnal and be a spirit to work with God, no? He said, the eyes of God is so it's so clean that it cannot behold iniquity. You can't be walking on one side, one leg in, one leg out. No way. God is not a man. He cannot be deceived. If you want to walk with God, walk with him wholeheartedly. You are not, it's, if you want to walk with God, be out. Commitment. God is looking for those who are committed. It's not for those who are feeble-minded, who cannot stand on their own, who cannot say, this is where I belong. If you belong to God, declare it. Let people know that you are for God. You know, some people, they be deceiving themselves. When they are out, they behave like they are friends. But when they come to church, they are different. No? You can never be lukewarm. If you are lukewarm, he says he will spew you out. And that is what the Bible tells us. God does not waste time on frivolities. Avoid all this uh, jesting, flattering. God does not get involved in such a thing. He's not pleased by such things. Let us walk with him the way he desire and God will lift us up in the name of Jesus. As I said, commitment. God wants to see your heart. He works with your heart. It's not, not your outward appearance. God sees your heart. What is your intention? Something, you know, as normal, we are human beings, we want to do things, we have some material motive in our hearts. No, no, God knows everything. Be open. Let God know where you are going. Let people know where you are going, and that is where God knows that you are going. It's not that, oh, I'm going here, then me, while you are going the other way. No. God is not mocked. He said, let them, he said, God knows those who are his. Let them that name it the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. And God will help us in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord will help us and he will establish us in the name of Jesus. Brethren, let us remember that we cannot help ourselves. There are situations we can't help ourselves. We will be helpless. Unless you cry to God. You remember the three Hebrew boys in Daniel chapter 3? They couldn't help themselves. They couldn't have freed themselves from the hand of uh, Nebuchadnezzar. But they cried to God. And they believed that God will help them. And they were saved. Though that it was not yet time for Christ to come to earth at that time, but because of those three people, Jesus came. I am praying for somebody today. Because of you, the Lord will send 
help to you in the name of Jesus. I said God will send help. In the name of Jesus. Every lack in your life, the Lord will take control in the name of Jesus. Brethren, also, as I said, if you want the benefits of this divine establishment, you must position yourself. How do you position yourself? You must know what you want. The Bible tells us to say, ask, ye shall be given. Matthew 7, 7, whatever you ask from God, God will do it for you. And that is the promise of God to us, each and every one. Is, there is no exception. Whatever you ask, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will do it. Hold on to that promise. Position yourself. Hold God to it. He honors his word more than, more than anything else. Challenge God. You said. Whatever I ask you, we do it. But let your ways be right. It's not everybody that asks that God answers. There could be a reason why he didn't answer. He said that. Maybe you have sin in your life that you have not dealt with. Or what you are passing through. God wants you to learn a lesson from it. As soon as that lesson is learned, God must surely show himself. I pray God will show himself in your life in that name of Jesus. I said the Lord will show himself in that name of Jesus. As I said, faith is very important in our lives, in walking with God. If you don't have faith, why do you believe in God? You know, this issue came up at the Bible study, during the Bible study. Say, ah, some say, oh, there, uh, there is somebody, some people who do not have faith. Some said, oh, everybody have a measure of faith. Did you get that? It depends on which side you are. But I believe, my own, I, on my own opinion is that, there are some who do not even have faith. If you don't believe in God, there is no faith. Do we, we can't argue that. If you don't have belief in God, what, what, what is faith? And whatever you are telling such a person, you tell, I don't believe. You see, I mean, where is God? Where does he live? <laughs> if you ask him two questions, you won't be able to answer. Have you seen God before? Why do you think that there is God self? Eh? One man said he was preaching to one, uh, one white man. Say, hey, come, this God you are talking about, come and tell me. He said he spent <laughs> more than 20 minutes talking about God. Say at the end of it, I don't believe you. And that ends everything. He told the guy who surrender himself to Christ. But still, you tell me oh, what you have said. You just say, I don't believe you. Can somebody have, can such a person have faith in God? No. And God will help us in the name of Jesus. Our prayer is that all our relations, people around us, people who are close to us, they shall be saved in the name of Jesus. I say they shall be saved in the name of Jesus. And it is our responsibility. God will hold us to it. You will be answerable for people around you. Did you preach to them? Did you tell them about Christ? If you did not, you will answer for it. You just tell them. It's not for you to convince them. You are not to convince anybody. That is the work of the Holy Spirit. Tell them about Jesus Christ. Ask them to surrender their lives to Christ. That's all. If they do, all well and good. If they refuse, but their blood will not be required of you in the name of Jesus. All we need to do, play our part. Leave the consequences to God. And God will always do his own. And God will do his own concerning your life in the name of Jesus. Brethren, 
For God to establish you, you must be diligent. Say, seest thou a man who is diligent in his own work, and he will stand before me, men. And before kings, sorry. Stand before kings and not before me, men. And God will establish you in the name of Jesus. So, a man that is not diligent will not be, you will even want to work with him ordinarily. Friends, you cannot. You ask him to do something, he tells you, I'm going to do it, and you go home and sleep. But somebody who is not diligent, if you give him an assignment, you still have to follow. You still have to close mark. Why not just do it yourself? So we go have that time to waste on such a person. No. <laughs> you ask somebody, say, oh, I want you to help me to do this thing. Then you go you go and sleep because you have assurance that it will be done. Those are the kind of people God wants to work with and establish. And God will establish it today in the name of Jesus. Be diligent. Even in your own matter, the way you handle your issues, personal issues, will be the same you will handle God's issue. If you have not learned how to be diligent in your own way, you can't be diligent with God. Don't deceive yourself. Most of these things are learned. Lessons and uh, knowledge are gathered over a period of time. It's not overnight. You can't say, oh, I have an exam at the end of the year and you are going to class. You say you won't read until that end of year comes before you now go and gather your book. You, you are prepared to fail. And God will help us in the name of Jesus. Brethren, diligence is very important. And God will be pleased with you and he will be ready to work with you in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord will be pleased with you in the name of Jesus. Brethren, when God decides to establish somebody, things will become easy. Your goings will become like, you know, when you enter a new car. You know what it is? When you start the engine, we won't hear the sound. <laughs> you know, it's very interesting. When I was young, I used to, I loved driving. Ah, if they say, I'll say, I'll drive, I'll go by road. <laughs> At times, say, load. I enjoy it. When car, you know that you have confidence on that vehicle. Nothing is going to go by. You just be going smooth. When some car, the engine is on, you won't even know. Unless you touch the body, you'll, be, you'll hear that it's, it's on. Beautiful. <laughs> God will bless you. <laughs> You know, life is sweet. Isn't it? It's sweet. And God will establish you. When God decides to establish a man, life will be sweet. Ah, is it not this life? You must enjoy yourself. Get the good things of life. And the Lord will establish somebody today in the name of Jesus. Because somebody is telling God, I am tired of this situation. God has had you. He said you will see his hand in the next three months. Between now and the next three months, you will see the hand of God in your life. Brethren, when God decides to intervene in the life of a man and establish him, <laughs> there will be celebration. You will celebrate this year in the name of Jesus. Somebody is going to celebrate a very great achievement this year. And God will bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. Also, when God decides to establish a man, he will make his enemies to be at peace with him. Even your enemy will come and sing for you. Your enemy will come and, you know, because of you, <laughs> they will come to Christ. In the name of Jesus. Say, ah, that God that is helping you, I want to come unto him. I want him to help me also. And that will be their testimony concerning your life. In the name of Jesus. Brethren, when God intervenes 
in the life of a man. All his ways will be pleasing unto God in whatever he do. God will be happy with such a person. And God will be happy with you today in the name of Jesus. And he will grant you peace. Peace in your heart. Peace in your home. Peace in your marriage. Peace in your career. Peace in every area of your life. And God will release peace upon your life today in the name of Jesus. Brethren, when God decides to establish a man, <laughs> he will never lack. Every lack will come to an end. You want to do something and you don't have the capacity to do it. Go to God. How God is going to do it, you don't know. He will raise help from wherever help will come. I said your, the help God has for you will come in the name of Jesus. You know, it's good to dream. Big, big, just dream big. I want to do this. But you yourself, you know in your heart that <clears throat> if you want to rely on yourself, you can't do it. Involve God in it. When God is in it, it becomes easy. It becomes what? Easy. And God will make a way for you. Even where there seems to be no way, the Lord will make a way in the name of Jesus. Brethren, let us believe in God. Let us believe in his power. Let us trust him all the way. If you trust him, he will not disappoint you. He has never disappointed any, anyone. Can you show me who God has disappointed before? No. You are believing God for something. God will never fail. All you need to God, ask God questions. And he's ready to answer. And he will show himself in the name of Jesus. He will show himself. He has proved himself over and over again. And when he hears you cry, he will answer. When we say, come to church, let's have a VG, we want to pray. <laughs> Some people think we are, we are wasting our time. But I tell you, God has been answering our prayer in this place. I have seen testimony. I am a living testimony. Praise the Lord. God still answers prayers. I want to assure you, he still answers. And God will hear you and he will answer in that name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, as I said, trust him all the way. No matter what the devil is saying, that is the devil's voice. He will always come around to dissuade children of God. He will always want you to miss your blessings. But trust God. God never fails. And he will never fail concerning you in the name of Jesus. Brethren, when we say, you know, some people, they believe, oh, they don't have the money some people have. It is not only money that can establish you. It is not financial only. There are many ways God can establish a man. When God decides to bless you, the blessing is bigger than money. Do you agree? The blessings of God is better and bigger than money. When a man that is blessed, when you are blessed, what you will achieve, a man with money may not be able to achieve it. When your ways are established, when you are blessed, things people are paying millions for, you will get it free. And that is how God works. Free. God is wonderful. Let us trust him. And God will show himself in your life in the name of Jesus. Brethren, let's stand on our feet. Let's appreciate God. Let's talk to God. The way God has 
answered you before. Begin to bring them to remembrance and ask God, in this situation I am today, I need you again. Prove yourself in my life in thy name of Jesus. Prove yourself. Just talk to God. Say, Father, I need you again in my life. You have done it before. This time around, I need you. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I need help. The Bible tells us him, he will deliver you out of a miry, miry clay. When somebody who is stuck in a miry clay, you can't help yourself. You need help. It's only God that can help. And when God decides to help, nothing can stop it. Say, Father, I need you again in my life. Show yourself. Show yourself, oh Lord. Talk to God. The area you want God to prove himself unto you. And when God do it, don't forget to give him the glory by testifying and identifying the body of Christ. Strengthening the faith of others by your testimony. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You are going to pray, say, Father. Father. I can hear you. I only heard two people. Say, Father. Father. Say, Father. Father. Establish me today in my goings. In thy name of Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to God. Say, Father, establish me today in my goings, O oh Lord. Establish me in my goings, in every area of my life, in my marriage, the life of my children, my career, every area. Father, establish me, O oh Lord. Establish me in the name of Jesus. Father, establish me. Establish me on a firm ground, O oh Lord. Don't let me be shaken. The troubles of this world will never shake me in the name of Jesus. Because I know you are with me. Father, establish us today in the name of Jesus. Move in our lives, O oh Lord. Establish us. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray, say, Father. Father. Say, Father, Father. Give me the grace to hear when you speak to me. When you give directions to me. Father, let me hear you speak. Let me understand that you are the one talking to me. Don't let me miss my my blessings, O oh Lord. Father, help me in the name of Jesus. Help me, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father, we thank you. Our Lord and our God, we give you glory. We give you honor and adoration, O Lord. Let your will be done in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we surrender ourselves unto you. You are the almighty God. There's nothing that is impossible with you. We come to you, O Lord, with everything, with all our challenges and everything that, are, that we are faced with. We know you are able to take away the body. Father, take away every burden upon us in thy name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, make a way, even where there seems to be no way, in thy name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, we have cried unto you. We know you have heard us, O Lord. 
Father, even in our secrets. Prove yourself in our life now in thy name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. And in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Let's put our hands together. Let's appreciate God. Thank you. God bless you. Do you desire the Lord to take you deeper? Take me deeper. The more we get deeper and deeper in Him, the more He establishes us. That's just a secret that the man of God has brought unto us this morning. I just want to love you more and more. I want us to pray for the man of God that has brought the word for this morning. Let's pray for him for more anointing. Let's pray for more strength. Let's pray for more enablement. Let's pray that the word of the Lord will prosper in his mouth. Let's pray that as he labors in the place of the world, that there will be a fresh revelation on a daily basis. Jesus, his anointing will continue to increase and not decrease in the name of Jesus. His health will not fail. His family will not fail. His ministry will not fail. Thank you, everlasting Father. Heavens will perpetually be opened upon us in this house in the mighty name of Jesus. We will love you more. We will treasure you more. We will walk with you more. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Uh, it's time for us to give this morning our tithes and our offering this morning. Let's de uh, open up our word declaration as we prepare to give. We can give via several means, via text to give. We can give via cash app. We can give via Zelle. We can give via PayPal. You can write a check as well. And if you also want to give via the normal conventional uh, means of envelope, the ushers will pass across the envelope to you. I want us to declare our, the word declaration. Word declaration. Let's rise to our feet this morning. And as you declare this word, I want you to declare it like a soldier that knows what he's saying. Because after this, I'm not going to pray. This is our prayer on that seat that you're saying. You, you are the greatest prophet over your life. Just like, like I say every, every week. One, two, go. Because, because I am a fighter and a giver, the, the windows of heaven are open to me, and God, God rebuilds the devourer for my sake. I am blessed financially and receive a blessing that I cannot contain. I do not worry about lack, knowing God supplies all my needs richly and abundantly. Therefore, I am able to sow freely and liberally. I choose to sow cheerfully, generously and bountifully, knowing I will reap bountifully. 
I have in abundance every favor and every blessing. All my needs are met, and I abound in every good work. Because I obey Him, the Lord blesses everything I put my hand to. He grants me abundant prosperity. He makes me the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. The blessings of God are chasing me and overtaking me. Because God loves to see me prosper, I am believing Him for jobs and better jobs. Advancements, raises and bonuses, sales and commissions, God ideas and strategies, debt paid off, expenses decreased, blessings and increases, financial freedom and breakthrough. Amen. Father unto the Lord, may the Lord accept us and accept this gift in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have given. Let's have our seat this morning. We're rounding up. We're rounding up just a couple of announcements. Uh, we want to use this opportunity uh, to appreciate each and everyone who has uh, made it to service this morning. Both everyone who is in person, please do not forget the time zone has changed. It took me so much to wake up this morning. Even my car couldn't recognize it. It went to switch over to Eastern Time. And I thought I was late for church already. So things are changing now. So please let's set up our times, our reminder. So when we go to work tomorrow, we don't go by 10 o'clock in the morning. Set your reminder. All right. Um, and those watching us online as well, want to use our opportunity to appreciate you for joining us all around the world. We don't take it for granted. We say the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. And also, welcome special people in our midst. Is there anybody worshiping with us for the first time this morning? Anybody? Anybody? Okay. There's nobody. All right. I want to use the opportunity to. Oh, new person. <laughs> oh, we have a newcomer in our midst. Let's welcome him. Center, the redeemed Christian Church of God, uh, which is the place where the Lord answers prayer. We say the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, if you're worshiping with us for the first time, from today, today you're no more a newcomer. You're not part of a family. In this place, in this uh, auditorium, the Lord bless you and keep you in the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. Uh, just a few announcements. I'm just going to 
uh, voice over the announcements uh, just for a newcomer on Monday we meet 8 o'clock online for our prayer meeting and we dial a number that is going to be projected uh, to the screen just dial this number from 8 to 8 30 that's when uh, we lay our petition and our burdens to the Lord and the Lord answers prayer uh, on this mountain on Wednesdays we do our uh, women women also meet on Tuesday women's group they meet this on the same number by 8 also to 8 30 and on Wednesday we do our Bible study in this auditorium on Sunday we don't have the privilege of asking questions but on Wednesdays it is an interactive session it is student driven it's a student centered where we get to ask, ask uh, questions uh, encourage each other and be able to learn uh, on the Word of God by 7 to 8 just an hour let's come in this auditorium and gather to pray and also the last Friday of every month we meet here the last Friday of every month we do our vigil where we do communion anointing service and we also pray ahead into the new month that is coming ahead the Lord bless us and the second week of every month like we did yesterday uh, this weekend is our evangelism weekend we call it our go ye week we're able to go out to preach the gospel and that is the heartbeat of God that is the center of our calling if we are accomplished the day we got saved the Lord, the Lord will have taken us home the reason why he left you and you are not called on with God is that purpose of propagating the gospel and we do that every second week second weekend Saturday and Sunday of each month the lord bless us in the mighty name of jesus every other announcement will be passed across praise the lord i'm back again for one special assignment we have two babies we are going to dedicate this morning Are we not happy? I know somebody joy will be full. After this baby dedication, God will do your own in the name of Jesus. Everyone that is believing God for such a gift, the Lord will do it in the name of Jesus. So we are going to stand on our feet, we're going to dance with the celebrant. Uh, Brother Dayemon and Sister Dayemon, their baby is in church today after being born some, some months or over a month ago. What a, what a wonderful day like this. I know the mother before will be watching us on online. Now you can resume. God bless you. And the second one is from um, our brother and sister Awoshika. The Lord will lift you up in thy name of So, Brother Awoshika, you will dance through this eye. And then you will dance through this place. All well wishers will join you to celebrate. Go to the back with your baby. Oh, well, we shall join them quickly. The choir, the choir is going to sing for us. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, go back.
what a joy. Yeah. There's nothing bigger than this. And God will bless each and every one in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, when you see a child being born, uh, it stays longer in the stomach now. When once it's born, it's growing. Like this, when I went to see this one when he was born, <laughs> it was a great thing. But now, it must be way more than 20 kilos now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I know we are happy. That joy in our heart, let us use to pray for these children. Let's commit them unto the hand of the Almighty God, the, the only God that can keep, the only God that can deliver, the only God that can save. Let's commit them. The kind of prayer you pray for your children, pray for these two babies. Maybe Isaiah, Anu Luakbo, Adeyemon, and uh, Zoe Oluwa Shemi Lore Awoshika. Let's commit them unto the hand of the Almighty God. Let's talk to God. Let's crown to God on their behalf that these children going forward, they are in the hands of God. They, are, they will live in the presence of God forever. They will not depart. They will not stray away from the coverage of the Almighty God. God will keep them under, under his, on, on his arms in the name of Jesus. That whatever they, they ask of God, God will hear them. They will be a good ambassador of Jesus Christ and of the church and of the families. They will bring glory to the family. They will bring glory to the church of God. They will be a source of encouragement to others an example to many others outside there. Talk to God. Pray for the parents that God will give them the whatever they need, wisdom, knowledge that they need to bring up these, these children in godly ways. Financially, God will bless them that this child will not beg for bread. They will not lack any good thing in life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you, Lord. With a grateful heart, we have come and danced and celebrate these children. Maybe Isaiah, Anu Oluwakbo, Adeyemo, and Zoe, Oluwa Shemilore, Awoshika. They are here this morning. We are dedicating them to your glory and to you in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we believe that you are the only one who can save. You are the only one who can keep. You are the only one who can deliver. Father, be there for these children in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Lord and our God, you are the Almighty. Wherever they go, let your prayer be with them. Amen. Let your name be glorified in their lives. Amen. Father, you will promote them. Amen. You will take them to the next level. Amen. Father, there shall be no delay in their lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. When it is time for them to start running, they will run. When it is time to start, you know, flying, they will fly in the name of Jesus. They will be first among equals. They will not be below. They will be the head. They will be in front always in the name of Jesus. They will be ahead in everything they do in the name of Jesus. Father, set them apart for your glory. Set them apart for your honor in the name of Jesus. I pray for them, O oh Lord. No evil will come near them. Amen. Everyone, anyone with evil intention, their hands will not touch these ones. In the name of Jesus. Any evil hand pointed at them, that hand will wither. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, anyone that has gone and say, ah, not in his presence or her presence, that they will grow. Father, they will die for their sakes. 
In the name of Jesus. Our Lord and our God, you are the almighty God. We join our faith together to pronounce blessings upon them. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Father, we dedicate Isaiah, Anu Olu Akbo, Adeyemo, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. He shall be well with him. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for your son Zoe Oluwa, oh, your daughter Zoe Oluwa Shemilore Awoshika. You are the Almighty God, even before today, you have ordained it to be before, <laughs> before anyone here was born. Father, we pray, let your name be established in her life in the name of Jesus. Our Lord and our God, you are the Almighty. With you, nothing shall be impossible in her life in the name of Jesus. She will climb the highest mountain. She will move mountains. She will go and she will not fail. She will go out there. She will make her mark in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, O oh Lord, her life will affect others positively in the name of Jesus. They will not look for her in the prison yard. They will not look for her among the area guests. It shall be well with her. Bless her abundantly in the name of Jesus. We dedicate Zoe uh, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. So quickly, yeah, okay. Quickly, uh, I want the mothers to give maybe they have a testimony one way or the other to tell us. the Lord um, I'd like to sing this song to God great is your mercy towards me your loving kindness towards me your tender mercies I see day after day for the glory, honor, and adoration for his faithfulness, for his mercy, for his compassion over me and my family and my household. The Lord has been a very good, good father to us. I would like to thank the pastor and his family, the church of God, for their support. Um, I remember before, she, before conception, we went to camp in Lagos in January, um, first Friday of the month, and we went to the altar and we told God what we wanted. We didn't talk about the gender, we didn't talk about the characteristics or the features we want in a child. We just wanted a good and perfect gift from God. And we, we prayed in unity and the same month God did it. And um, first trimester was, you know, usual first trimester, second trimester was okay and third trimester um, but God took control. And um, I remember when I was in the hospital for delivery, you know, I got there around 8.30 at night and the 
nurses keep coming to me they're like change your position the baby doesn't like this position i changed to another position they came back they were like baby doesn't like this position change your position i changed when he came back they said change your position and then i was on my back and then they came back they said change your position i was like i can't be in the front position i'm not allowed to be in my, on my stomach so what is going on you guys are scaring me and like baby doesn't like this position you have to keep changing position and then 6 a.m the next day they were like we have to carry baby out and i give god all the glory i give god all the honor i give god all the adoration because um i mean you know first baby it's um it's i mean you know you go to classes you read a lot but then the d day is always very different you know i i just give god all the glory for taking perfect control god did it in a way that no man can and he took the whole glory praise praise the lord Thank God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I don't know what we do. I just want to thank God for everything. I think my sister said it perfectly. Um, sorry. <laughs> my sister said it. Pregnancy can be very, uh, you don't know. You don't know how it's going to go. You can study, you can know, okay, it's nine months, but it's really up to God. And I thank God because he took control. Amen. Um, this baby was not a plan for you. <laughs> this was a surprise of God. And last year was very, very, I would say, trying with moving and everything. And then with the pregnancy, I was like, God, like, this is bad timing. This is not the right time. But God took control because this is the best time. This is the, the, the best gift. I feel like Elijah is the best gift that we had. So we just thank God for everything. God take all the glory. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Let's put our hands together. And you are going to sing? Okay. God bless you. <laughs> Usually men don't have much to say. We can't understand. God bless you all. Praise the Lord. Are we not happy for such a gift? Let's put our hands together once more. Let's appreciate God. And I pray for each and everyone here who have come to celebrate with them. The Lord will give you something to celebrate this year in the name of Jesus. God bless you. birthday today. It's a double celebration for him. Bracken, can, can we have you in front? And uh, can you please bring this cake specially made for him by someone in Poland in, in his life, his wife. I know he is not expecting it. The, we plan it even a little bit bigger than this. But this is to show our appreciation to to her husband and uh, fortunately it's on a Sunday a service day so let's sing for him and rejoice with him We pray that the Lord will bless your new year with wonderful testimony of God, faithfulness in Jesus' mighty name. You are going to cut your cake. And before that, um, generation, 
the mom, the son, and the grandchildren, they are here. And you know, his mother that gives testimony. This is not planned. And you know when the babies are handed over to their mom, pastor said they should give testimony. I'm not doing that line, but she asked, she requested if she can be permitted to give testimony. I think we should allow her. And she did not know that pastor will ask the mother of the baby to give testimony. So this our brother is our own baby. So she's permitted to give testimony. Give testimony over your baby. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. I have to say something because God is wonderful in our family. They said that it's one minute, so I will not take one minute for the. Me oh, thank you, mommy. <laughs> Today. I know this year it will be 25 years that we lose our dad. That is uh, Akola's dad. Akola was strong when he was young. But to God be the glory today, I just be here to celebrate with him for all what he passed through in his life. Oh my God. I cannot say it enough. Let me tell you one of all. We are living in uh, Oshogbo. 1990, 91, they created capital. So we have problem of house. We are now looking for where to stay. I and my husband, we will saw one house. That house, half step, uh, stay up here. But there is nothing to add to when you are we are climbing it. And we have a convention this year. We want to go to the convention for the uh, practice, uh, singing practice convention. And we love Aki and his brother inside the room. Aki just come out from the room and come down. It's an enroll from the oh, from the top of the building. And all this place was me and the daddy. We were crying. We began to cry. <laughs> See this boy, we will be safe. See this boy, we live. God Almighty, when we rush him to the hospital, they just starting to say, Is this boy that you say he fell down on the three building? We say, Yes. Uh -huh. You cannot still sleep here today. When they can clean all the blood and all the wound, it started to run from the one hospital. Ah, in fact, that God is good. I want you people that you are in marriage to just believe in God. As Daddy said it this morning, it's like my Daddy my preaching this morning. It's like we, I, I have spoken to him that hey, if you want to be a Christian, be a genuine one, don't deceive yourself. You can't deceive God. The Lord has made you and made you know what you will be in life. I was from a uh, Muslim background. They rejected me, but God said that I should marry my husband by then. So if God promise you and you are facing any trial in your marriage or in your life, just hold the promise. Whatever it will be, the Lord will make it possible. Because it's only God. It's only God. It's, it's the one that can do everything in life. Your parents cannot do anything. Oh, so God is so marvelous to us. Thank God that I'm here today. I celebrate my, my blessed child. Daddy, mommy, God will bless you.
I love you so much in this church. You are so lovely. That love will help me to bless you all. Thank you so much. M many things to say, but in the uh, Let somebody praise the Lord. This is, you, you will cut your cake. Grandma, you can go and have your seat. Assistance every round will be time. Yeah. So, it's another, no, stay. Okay, mommy, they say you should cut your cake. Then I will say. Fato. So, what do we spell for him? Jesus. J E S U S. Jesus. Amen. Congratulations. God bless you. You will live many more years in the land of the living. And you shall continually have the holy in the name of Jesus Christ. You will celebrate your children when they give us you. And you will be there in the name of Jesus in the Lord God. to church for convention choir practice and the storm came i listened to a message yesterday and one of our message of our uh, daddy in the uh, daddy geo when the storm comes but thankfully she had jesus in her boots bracken you will live long i know sister your middle may be hearing it for the first time so <laughs> another good soul for grandma for taking care of me mommy your joy shall be full the good work that you have done in the life of your children, you will live many more years. And the soul of the departed will continually rest in peace in Jesus' mighty name. Each and every one of us will fulfill our days in the land of the living. No life will be cut short in Jesus' mighty name. Brethren, let's be on our feet as we bring the service to a close. Let's have a family song. Then we share the do you love, do you love, do you love? Family, oh, so closely knitted, so knitted into one. They have taken me into their hands, and I'm so glad to be a part of this great family. Oh, do you love? Do you love? Do you love? Please, please let's celebrate with them. Celebration continues. And I'm okay, I'll bless the food. So I mentioned last week that if there is a family member is not in church, give a call. How many people give a call last week to somebody? Doctor, God bless you. Sister Ifama, God bless you. Who called? 
Sister Woshika. So, another assignment. If there is any member in the church that you did not see today, give them a call and tell them, Pastor, ask after them. Will you do that? So, it's a simple assignment. Our brethren from Macombs, God bless you. Our children from Bradley, they went home for spring break. The Lord will bring them back safely in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for the provision of the food and drinks. We pray that you bless and sanctify it in Jesus' mighty name. We pray it will nourish our body in the name of Jesus. And those that are provided, if Father, bless them. They will never lack in the name of Jesus. Father, we have many reasons to celebrate, even in this church, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, as we go, let your presence go with us and bring us back again on Wednesday uh, to study at your feet in the name of Jesus. And whenever we call upon you online, O oh Lord, you answer us. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall do in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus, now I am.